welcome to this video. Let's look at another book, shall we? That's what we do best, I guess, on this channel. Today, it's this book. It's called The Art of Tyler Jacobson. It's got a really nice cover. Look at that. This artist has really impressed me. This book is an instant hit for me. I'm not familiar with this artist by name, but I've obviously seen his work on various kind of book covers, within books, within games as well. So he does a lot of artwork for you know, Dungeons and Dragons, Magic the Gathering and other things as well. I've seen his work, but I've obviously never really paid too much attention to him. What a fool I have been. This guy is seriously talented and I love most of the work in this book. This is a gem. I've only just picked it up. I found it used somewhere for about £16, which is you know, it's $49.95 in the US um, RRP. So it's a good saving. Look at the cover. You've got this blue dragon heading up into the sky and then characters that seem to be floating, flying maybe. I don't know. As you can see, it's quite a square book. Look, in terms of dimensions. There's a quick glance at the spine. It's just got big lettering. It's published, incidentally, by, is it um, Flesk, it's called? Not heard of those, but they're a, they're a thing. There's the ISBN. More dragony tales on the back. Um, and it spans a work by, by Tyler um, through from about 2010, I think, to about 2019. So about a decade's worth of work in here. Just, just from glancing through and looking at the, the dates on pieces. But obviously what uh, it also has is some really early work, some hilariously early work, as in when this guy was a child. So without further ado, I'm gonna stop waffling. Let's have a little look through.
So here's a little look at what I think are the best examples in this book. Wow, I mean, just wow, some of this stuff is incredible. This is the first thing that you're greeted with in this book. It's a double page spread. Isn't that phenomenal? Look at this kind of beast's eyes and you can just see this fire wanting to come out of that mouth. Yeah, these early works really made me laugh. This one looks as Tyler, it's definitely his. It's got his name on it after all. This one as well, it reminds me of my own childhood. I've got two brothers and I did a lot of drawing. I had a younger brother as well who probably did things like lie on top of me whilst I was drawing and I probably was okay with that. Yeah, I was totally into drawing monsters and all this kind of thing. So yeah, I can totally relate to this. I like these two pieces here. So it's called The Hunt, this one, these intrepid kind of people on a boat. They're going to what attack whatever this is. And I think this is from the same series. Look, someone's sticking like, I don't know, something in to this beast under the surface that's bleeding. But I dread to think how big that is. It scares me. I'm already scared of the sea and sharks and freshwater crocodiles. I don't need to see things like this to make me any more afraid of the sea. Ugh, but it's a great piece. I love it. I love the story of Beowulf and Grendel, and he's done a couple whilst at art school in 2009 uh, here. There's this, so he's imagining it as like a four-legged kind of canine beast almost with a strange face. And then there's one here, I love this, sort of killed in the snow, about to face the wrath of its mother. It's not all fantasy art in this book, of course. So you can see here, there's a portrait of Peter Jackson back in 2012. I like that, very dramatic. I really like this one. It's a uh, painting of Stephen King and he's either reading a horror book or perhaps he's writing or researching a new new book, a new novel and there's some sinister shadow haunting him in the background, maybe even inspiring him. Here's a book cover with a huge spider and a baby spider on its back and it's crawling down this ancient tree and there is a party of armed adventurers waiting for it. I think the spider's gonna win. I really love this one, so atmospheric. It's called The Sleeping Sorceress. Uh, an illustration for Inside a Book, I believe, in 2018 with that. Or was it a dying sun in the sky? Really good, atmospheric. Look at these goblin designs with the horrible teeth, bitey mouths, and dark eyes. This is concept art for Dungeons and Dragons from 2015. And then there's some orcs as well. They've also got, well, probably need to see a dentist. Some eye studies, love all of these. And then some spirits as well. Look at these strange faces, grotesque. Moving on a bit, I like how this guy paints armor. It looks so, so shiny and cold and metallic. Captured it really well. Here's another underwater scene that's freaking me out. Beyond the pool of stars, this big kind of underwater beast with a big mouth that's basically gonna eat her unless she comes up with something special with her weapons and magic. I love the lighting in here. This guy, it's called Liar's Blade, the shining sword, and just the way it's throwing blue light across this monster's face. To be honest, I'm going through and picking out things I like, but most pages I really love. So it's hard to actually I could be here all day basically waxing lyrical about this. There's a couple of Transformers here. They're both excellent as well. Slightly different from the other stuff in this book, but very excellent too. Look at this gang. It's called The Sundering from 2013. Promotional art for Dungeons and Dragons. This crew looks pretty mean. Look at that Gandalf character. You wouldn't mess with him. He's going to have some tricks up his sleeve for sure. Here's one called Garruk, Apex Predator from Magic the Gathering 2013. He does look like an apex predator. I bet though he can't kill fish with that axe in the water. There's a challenge for him. These two pieces of art I love, again, for the sort of the light source, this blue glow on him, illuminating his face and her with her greenness. Really good. And oh my God, you know, I talked to you earlier about my sea fear. This boat and anyone on it is going down into this beast's stomach. End of. This one is just awesome. Just speaks for itself, doesn't it? It's called Pia Nala. It's an, a card art from Magic the Gathering. More beasts in the water with big mouths looking scary. Uh, this one here, it's called Sneak Attack, but I fail to believe how that monster could be sneaking upon him unless he's completely deaf. You know, how's that not gonna make a noise? But I don't wanna poke fun because I just love this stuff. What a great book. I'm just gonna have to shut up because 
every page gives you so much joy. Wow. If you like kind of Dungeons and Dragons, fantasy art and that sort of thing like I do, this book is a must. I don't say that about every book on this channel, but this one is. This one's got to be in your collection. I'm going to cherish this book now. I wish I'd found it and known about it earlier because I should have really. It's a total gem. And if you can pick it up used, which I did, then I suggest you do so. Thanks for watching the video anyway. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time. Bye for now. Thank you.